Hey friends, how's it going? I have music going, so I'm hoping it's not going to overpower or be uh, too distracting. So let me know after you watch this session how you're feeling about having music on in the background. This is This is my very first um, yoga and journaling, journaling and yoga session. Let's see how it goes. Um, thought we could start. Um, just take a nice comfy seat. If you prefer to lay down, <laughs> you know, just lay down. If you want blocks, you can grab blocks. If you want to lean right against a wall or sit in a chair or lay in a bed, whatever you need, feel free to take that space. Close your eyes. Closing your eyes brings anything other than stillness into the mind. Please feel free to keep your eyes open and gazing at a single point in front of you. As you inhale, draw the shoulders up towards the ears, draw the shoulders down and back. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Allow your hands to rest on your lap, on your knees, maybe hands to heart. Whatever is coming up in the mind, let it go with your exhale. Allow yourself these moments of stillness and quiet. Take one more big breath in. Exhale, let it go. Gently bring the chin towards the chest if you're in seated. Flutter the eyes open. And bring the gaze back forward. Feel free to make your way up from laying down if you're in a different position. So if anything consistently came up in that little moment, feel free to pull out your journal, notepad, whatever you have, write it down. Um, if you need to get up now and <laughs> grab a notepad or a journal, um, please do. I'll try to give those instructions um, with the recording. Um, but feel free to, whatever came up, just write it down, get it out of your head. And now move on to a card reading. I am going to use the Work Your Light Oracle cards, one of my favorite sets. I have lots of sets, so you'll probably see <laughs> various ones uh, during our times together. I'm going to light my siege. I love when they're brand new. They're like so fiery, <laughs> so beautiful. <laughs> it's actually best to use like matches, but I'm such a hot mess with matches. These ones are so smoky and beautiful. So I'm just cleansing the card deck and inviting in whatever the universe has to share with us in this first session that we have together. If you're ever looking for a card reading of your own, please message me. I'd be happy to do a reading for you. All right. Guys, smoke away. <laughs> All right. And just do a little bit of a shuffle. I'm going to cut the deck three times. Together. I'm just going to lay them out in front of me and just pick a card and that feels good. So, star seed. What lights you up? Perfect for today's session. I'm just going to find that in the book here. I love doing card readings. They're so fun. Where's the list? There it is. <laughs> oh, do, 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 do. Hmm. I don't know if there you are. 
not where I thought it would be. All right, so Starseed, what lights you up? Starseeds are souls with a double mission, to raise their own consciousness and the consciousness of the planet. They are old souls who have incarnated elsewhere beyond this planet. Many starseeds arrive with a feeling that time is running out and that there is something that they came here to do, create, or contribute. If you pull this card, it is to confirm that you are a starseed and you are being encouraged to answer the call to follow what lights you up. Once awake, most starseed souls find it hard to have meaningless conversations, jobs, and relationships. They immediately know that there is, not, there is much more to life and feel that there is something more and get to work. They remain restless until they step into their calling, which is to light up the world with their unique presence. Starseeds are scattered all over the planet, in hospitals and schools, in slums and mansions, on stages and in edit suites, in parks and in nightclubs, in taxis and theme parks. Many starseeds spend their spend parts of their lives trying to fit in or in some, sort of, in some form of spiritual closet. If you are dimming your light to fit in, it is time that you stop and start embracing the unique light that you came here to share and treat your time on earth like a glorious vacation. So, I think this is so beautiful for our first sessions together. This is really what I want to bring forward is this idea that some of us, not all of us, some of us have that push internal push i want this to be clear it's not someone else telling you that you need to do more or be better it's yourself giving yourself the push forward that you want more for your life not that you have to be better in any any specific way or any single way but that you want that for yourself you just you want more for your life you want a better situation, you want um, better outcomes, whatever it is, you're not working on making yourself better, you're perfect just as you are, but you're taking actions to bring yourself further ahead in your life. So if you're someone, if you're here, <laughs> that's that's what we're here for, that's what I'm here for, that's what this is going to be for, is this idea that you have something inside you that is really pulling you and pushing you and these, you it's not that you're not content in your life. You can be perfectly content, but there's this like itch, this urge, this push that is sending you towards something more, something bigger than you already have. And maybe it's not even bigger. What you have is just different. And it's something that is just calling you and so this idea that we can meet together and this can be a place where your biggest desires can be not just heard by yourself and inside but you can share with others and hopefully in this space we encourage each other and find ways to get each other where we want to go I think that would be absolutely beautiful. That's a big wish and dream of mine, but hey, that's what we're all here for, right? So the first thing I want you to journal about is what lights you up, okay? So take a few minutes. I'm gonna journal too with you guys. I'll turn the music up just a little bit so that it's not um, totally <laughs> uh, awkward to just sit. So I'm just turn it up a little bit. And then we'll all journal together. So you can, if you have felt some stuff, then feel free um, or just write it down. Again, what lights you up? You can turn the music up on your end too, if you prefer. Take about one more minute. It doesn't have to be pretty.
All right, if you need a, a minute more, please feel free to take it. When you're done writing, take a moment, find a nice comfortable position, draw the shoulders up, back and down, close your eyes. Allow the breath to fill up all the sides of your body, front, back, side, side. Allow you to go taller in your seat and as you exhale, ground deeper to the earth. Bring your hands to heart. Bow your head slightly, take a big breath in. Exhale, side out. Let's release your hands to your thighs, drop your head further, open your eyes, bring the gaze forward, and then turn the knees back, back down just a little bit. And then we'll take a few stretches here. Bring the hands back to heart. You can keep your left hand at your heart. I'm going to mirror you. Bring your right hand beside you. Left hand goes up towards the sky, and we're going to reach over towards the right and then think of drawing your right shoulder forward and left shoulder back slightly as long as that doesn't bring any discomfort into the spine. So maybe you play with bringing the gaze up towards the sky. Big breath in. Exhale, can you reach further with your left hand? Maybe sink a little bit deeper towards that right shoulder. Knees come back through center, left hand comes back to center, right hand to center, left hand to floor, right arm reaches up, and reaching over towards the left. Again, think of drawing the left shoulder forward, right shoulder back, and maybe gaze up towards the eye of the elbow or towards the sky. One more breath in, sink a little deeper, reach a little further. Oh, yes, inhale, come back to the center. Nice, hands to heart. Beautiful. Hands to thighs, close the eyes, let that settle for just a moment. And drop the head, open the eyes, and then look back up again. Beautiful. So what I really wanted to really kind of touch on for this ses first session that we have together is this idea of acknowledging where we want to be, not to be disheartened that we're not where we want to go um, or put too much pressure on ourselves of where we want to be, but this slow burn towards our goals and I I have always been someone that's like decides what they want to do and like I have to have it immediately and I've been learning through this journey of motherhood and just getting older and realizing that I'm somehow further away from my dreams and also closer to my dreams than I've ever been before and there's an opportunity here as well to look back at what dreams you had you know a year ago five years ago ten years ago what dreams did you have as a, a, a little kid, right? What did you dream about as a little kid? What did you want to be? I wanted to be a babysitter when I was little, and I wanted to be a marine biologist. And then as I got older, I wanted to be a lawyer. And so we look back at these dreams and ideas that we had for the life ahead of us, and, and there is some grief sometimes in the life that we ended up not having. Um, I don't, I personally don't believe in regrets. I believe that the choices I made were for a specific reason. And I do believe that things do happen for a certain reason. And, and I, I'm, I've been through a lot of, of trauma and a lot of things have happened to me. And I don't think those things had to happen for a reason. That's not what I'm saying. But I think the choices that we make lead us in a path and sometimes we do have that grief of the life that we were you know aiming towards and now it's like way back here it's not something that maybe we can get back to however um i remember when i decided that i didn't want to be a lawyer it just didn't fit with my life path and while i was working at the time this lady came in she had like five or six kids or something and she'd gone back to law school and she became a lawyer and so it just reminded me that even though we don't complete the goals that we have in the moment 
it doesn't mean we can't go after them later. Sometimes there's a pause, sometimes there's a shift. So that's why I'm saying look back on the goals that you had for yourself. Are you still tra striving for those goals? Maybe they no longer align with the life that you're living or the life that you want to live. You know, I look back on wanting to be a lawyer. You know, I was, I was really excited about it. It was something I was really trying to do. And I went to a talk at a, a law event with my dad. And a lot of the female lawyers were saying, you know, it's, it's very hard because when you have a family, you know, you take leave and then you have to come back and kind of you're, you're shifted back a bit because you, you haven't been working. So you kind of have to like bring yourself back to where you were. Um, it's not like other fields where maybe you can hop right back in and, and be where you were. I mean, there's, you know, new partners at the firm or maybe you have to switch firms entirely. It's it's just such a big change. Um, and once you have a family, that lifestyle doesn't always fit. And I realized that in that moment that I really wanted to have a family at some point and I knew that I wanted to be able to be home with my family. And so it just didn't fit with the vision that I had for myself. But maybe in, you know, 15 years or something, when my, my son's older, I maybe I go back to school. Who knows if that's something that's still in the in the plants so this is just an opportunity in this first session to acknowledge that we are people versus our seeds and that we want to be somewhere different than we are we we believe that there's more um and i don't always like to say better but there's more right this this feeling this pressure this itch to do more, to see more, to try more, to expand and grow and to continue to grow as human beings and people and partners and parents and friends and family. <laughs> and so it's just this opportunity in this first session to look at, look back, look back, think of what you wanted to do and be when you were five. If you remember, maybe you can look back into like old, um, boxes of stuff if your parents still have things what did you want to do when you were 8 10 12 18 right 25 however old you are now last year you know five years ago when was the last big shift in your life and what was it that you wanted before that big shift happened is that thing still something you want or has your life shifted enough that now you want something different that's not bad right life shows us a variety of different options of choices of things that we can do and try and experience and i think sometimes we can get caught up in what should have been maybe we had a dream that we were like really really holding on to and it's it is that that grief of of not having that yet and i like to word, say the word yet because as humans there's still opportunities to come into that dream in some way. So I didn't become a lawyer, but I worked in law firms. So I knew lawyers and I got to work, you know, on cases and doing research and stuff like that. So there's opportunities, you know, maybe if you want to be a brain biologist, so maybe you go volunteer at the aquarium. You know, it doesn't mean that your dream has to completely be abandoned. Maybe it just shifts for now anyways right so give yourself an opportunity to sit down with your journal if you do discover that there's something right now that you're kind of really clung to, clinging to clung to clinging to <laughs> write it on a piece of paper wish it a do burn it and if it comes back to you it comes back to you but we have these little ceremonies to let go of something that's weighing us down so if there's something out there right now that you were really trying to get to and now you can't get there, take the opportunity to to say goodbye for now. <laughs> you know, see where you alligator kind of thing. Um, yeah, and just see how that feels and then connect with me about it. Okay, I'm sure, I don't know about you, but my legs, I'm sitting cross-legged <laughs> a little bit um, angry at this point. So if you want to take a moment and get anything out of your mind or off your chest, please feel free to journal that. Um, I'm going to turn the music up just slightly and then we'll do a little bit of a stretchy stretch and then I will let you go. Okay, 
so send your leg right in front of you do a little wiggle and then I like to take my hand and move the flesh away from my sit bones so the sit bones are those little pointy um, part in your bottom <laughs> you sit, you'll notice when you pull the flesh away you can sit up a little bit taller if you need to sit on a block you're also more than welcome to do that as well you might take your head side to side stretch the neck back to center take the chin down and then look up one more time down and then up nice gaze forward open the eyes if they were closed and take your right hand behind you take your left hand and just slide it down the left leg towards your foot if you can't reach it that's fine maybe you grab on your thigh your calf or the toes just a little twist Come back up and to the other side. So left hand behind you, right hand slides down the left leg towards the um, by calf or toe. Take a little twist. Come back to center. Come on up. And both arms come on up with a nice little stretch here you might lean slightly side to side as long as the low back feels supported and then you take the hands behind you clasp the hands together take a nice big chest stretch and you might flex or point the toes depending how your legs feel And release. Shake the legs one more time. Come back to your seated position. Nice. Hands so the thighs. Draw the shoulders up and back. Draw the shoulders down the back. Close your eyes. Big breath in. Exhale, side out. Hands come to your prayer at heart center. Bow your head. May the light in me find the light in you. Namaste. Beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing your time with me. Feel free to reach out and be happy to connect. Have an awesome rest of your day.